know, many are hoping that the president's trip to Saudi Arabia will help lower oil prices. And take a look, the national average is a dollar higher than it was a year ago. That's not the only thing, though, that is frustrating travelers. You have to see this. What a mess. A scene at London's Heathrow Airport this week. Delta Airlines flying an empty plane with a thousand passenger bags from London to Detroit. This is due to staffing shortages. Another reason why so many people are skipping flights altogether and taking to the seas for cruise, uh, cruises rather this summer. Correspondent Ryan Bass is joining us live with more on this growing trend. Ryan, what more can you tell us about this new workaround? Well, Natasha, it's certainly catching on right now. Look, Nashville is one of the hottest summer weekend getaway destinations in the entire country. But between the price of the flight that it's going to take for you to get here, the money you have to shell out for a place to stay, not to mention the cost of food and fun here in the Music City, it's not going to be pretty cheap to come here. But there is one sector of the summer travel that is sort of a steal right now, and it involves ditching that pink cowboy hat and instead packing some sandals and a swimsuit. Planning your summer vacation is getting pretty expensive. Airline tickets are surging. Hotels cost a pretty penny. Even filling up your gas tank for a road trip has been painful. Eager travelers are shouldering the cost of record inflation. So your best bet and cheapest option for a summer getaway might actually be boarding one of these. People want to go away, and now you know, with the, the summer upon us, people are making plans not only for the, the Caribbean and Mexican Riviera. They want to go to Europe. They want to go to Alaska, and uh, the ships are there. Cruises are back, and companies are doing whatever they can to get passengers on ships, offering incentives and cheap deals to entice you to soak in that relaxing getaway. Many cruise lines are setting sail for under $100 a day, and vacationers have taken notice, according to Stuart Chiron. People that were on the fence, you know, let's say first-timers or novice cruisers, uh, they're now booking uh, in, in droves, and now we're seeing more and more families uh, getting ready to, to hit the high seas to various destinations as well. The online site Cruise Sheet, which aggregates cheap prices list 52 sailings available for less than 60 bucks a day between now and September and that includes port fees and taxes. Cruise Critic, an online travel company of trip advisors, showed bookings increased in June more than 60 percent from the same month in 2021. This time last year, the cruise industry was still trying to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic, and travelers had to battle frequent safety restrictions. But in the last few months, with the CDC dropping its health notice for cruise travel, and as protocols have eased up, most cruise ship fleets are fully back in service. Some companies, like Holland America, allow guests to cancel for any reason up to 30 days before a trip and get a future cruise credit, offering some peace of mind to those who are ready to set sail once again post-pandemic. A lot has been learned since the shutdown in March of 20. And the cruise lines have worked very hard to be able to continue to make the, the experience safe but enjoyable. And Natasha, cruise liners still face an uphill battle in terms of recovering from pandemic losses. Carnival is one of the largest cruise operators in the entire world. They actually reported in this most recent quarter an uptick in income revenue occupancy levels and said bookings. They nearly doubled from the first quarter. That is their strongest since the start of the pandemic. But they still project a loss this year because of high inflation and, of course, the rising cost of gas prices. So we have to meet, wait till 2023, potentially, for cruise lines to start making up on those losses they've seen over the last couple of years. Wow, really interesting insight. Ryan Bass, thank you so much for that report. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.